IT Pro asks, why is the Rust programming language becoming popular for ransomware? A relatively new programming language on the scene, Rust, was launched in 2015 and has quickly become a favorite among ransomware criminals. It's perhaps best known for eliminating some of the issues experienced in other development languages, making it a fan favorite amongst programmers. However, it also offers a range of benefits to cyber criminals, which means it's becoming more popular among black hats. In the most recent 2022 Stack Overflow developer survey, Rust was by far and away the most loved programming language among survey developers, a crown it's claimed for seven years running. Perhaps it came as no surprise then that Rust was also the language the most number of developers wanted to add to their repertoire, narrowly edging out Python. Following in the footsteps of Black Cat, Hive has become the second ransomware group this year to rewrite its program to a Rust-based version. But this raises the question, what exactly makes the industry favorite language so appealing to ransomware gangs? Rust's killer duo of features, safety first. Like many of the more modern programming languages designed to replace older ones, Rust claims to be blazingly fast and memory efficient, much more than the likes of C and C++. The team over at Microsoft conducted an analysis and it agrees, stating Rust offers better memory, data type, and thread safety over other languages. Memory safety is hugely important when writing secure software, as memory unsafe programs can lead to crashes. Ransomware strains also need to remain operational, whether that's to continue to lock users out of their systems or for ransom demands to be valid. Okta has previously said that memory unsafe programs are also responsible for the majority of software vulnerabilities in non-malicious software. Rust is an incredibly safe language thanks to its compiler that outright refuses to compile unsafe code by default. This means developers who code ransomware using Rust won't even be able to run it unless the program is guaranteed to run in a stable way. Evasive maneuvers. Newer languages like Rust and Go are thought to be better at disguising the ways in which they work from malware analysts. This in turn prevents them from being reverse engineered to release decryptors, which would kill its ability to generate business. Again, Rust's compiler is to thank for this. Due to the comparatively complex way in which Rust code is compiled into machine-readable code, the language makes it difficult for analysts to view the inner workings of the program. Rust is also a command-line-driven language, and the newer Rust version of Hive ransomware places different parameters in the command line. This means that things like the credentials required to access the ransom payment site cannot be accessed by analysts from the individual sample itself. The parameters in Hive are also being constantly updated, and when coupled with string encryption, it makes analysis increasingly difficult. Examples of malicious Rust programs. Examples of major malware programs written in Rust date back to 2016, shortly after the language was released. Dr. Webb researchers discovered a Linux backdoor Trojan with functionality limited to just four commands sent over Internet Chat Relay, or IRC. A year later, ESET published details of the Telebots campaign that targeted Ukraine months before the NotPetya outbreak was observed. It used a pair of backdoors in order to compromise companies in the region, including one that was rewritten in Rust from Python. Proofpoint also published its research into the rewriting of the Buer malware back in 2021. The security company gave it the new name of Rusty Buer as a result. The campaign saw the rewritten strain being distributed as part of phishing emails masquerading as shipping companies. Other associated campaigns purported to be from the likes of logistics company DHL, among others. The emails typically included links to download Microsoft Office documents that were laced with malicious macros to drop the Rusty Buer malware, a technique Microsoft has made strides to prevent against this year. There are also the most recent examples from Black Cat and Hive, the first and second ransomware programs to be rewritten in Rust, respectively. Black Cat is a pervasive strain of ransomware that prompted the FBI to issue a security advisory warning against it earlier this year. 
According to Verona's Threat Lab, the group behind Black Cat has actively recruited developers from the now-shuttered Reveal, Darkside, and Black Matter ransomware organizations, all of which are believed to be Russia-affiliated.